Okay, um, so found this model, found this free um, asset online, and uh, just wanted to um, experiment with it and uh, do a few tests. And basically, um, this is the result of. Um, um, Monte Carlo's um, setup on the cached um, um, GI settings. So um, you will be able to get um, animated stuff for the cached cached Monte Carlo um, without um, um, artifacts and like sort of. Um, weird um, lighting effects um, if you are rendering something out there this, this is just a quick preview done at 640 by um, 360 I think it took about 20 minutes on the cached mode and so um, this is actually the um, 13 second render at full HD and uh, this is what it looks like without um, using any type of um, a node setup on the lighting for the skin this is just a default default model and that's what RGB looks like and this is just on like I said this is 12.4 uh, seconds and uh, this is REC 709 and this is Sinyon and there is C -E C -I -E -X -Y -Z color table and so yeah this is actually quite cool um, so about um, 12 seconds on this view so 12 seconds on a 6 core um laptop um yep pretty cool and uh let's do one right now let's take one from the under view let's take one from this view back view and that uh, those are the ray settings and let's fire off the f9 So pretty much with Monte Carlo, you could render a high poly um, human um, figure asset in about um, 5 to 10 seconds at full HD um, with the correct um, um, uh, lighting setup and the correct um, sort of uh, ray setup. Um, you could do it in 5 to 10 seconds with Monte Carlo cached. Um, this would allow you to animate your mesh and animate uh, mocap stuff and stuff like that. And so, 5 to 10 seconds per frame at full HD. Um, this is coming out of 2015.3. Um, and so, if you want to. Um, if you wanted to know, um, so that's what I'm getting right now. This is 11.7 seconds uh, without recording. Without recording, it's actually 10 seconds. Um, but yeah, so we are using, um, as you can see, um, the model is extremely high poly. I think um, it is 60,000 on the jacket and. Um, the head is the head is two hundred and twenty three thousand polys, and the jacket is um five sorry five hundred thousand polys. So basically, we are doing seven hundred and fifty thousand polygons in. Um, just under 10 seconds um this this just is called laptop and so it's only an i7 um 
i7 CPU so this just goes to show you the power of light wave so I'm running this now at 3.7 and let's go let's run all the cores at 3.7 And let's do one more. Okay. So with all the with all the cores running at three point seven um, gigahertz across the board. We now at 8.9 seconds, so 8.9 seconds, and uh, that looks that looks pretty real to me, um, pretty realistic. And if I have to see this um, um, amongst video, amongst a comped into um, video footage. I don't think I would be able to tell the difference with um, um, accurate color grading and so on um, than a real person and so yeah this could be used for this color mode could be used for um, a nighttime scene after hours or um, something like that but yeah so there was you've seen it um, 7.9 seconds at full HD for a 750,000 human male mesh uh, now let's do um, the one from this side and see what we get let's go back to uh, camera mode and let's go So from this view, so last run time was 8.8 .8 seconds, and from this view, um, 13.5 seconds. Okay, and let's take a look at this. Yeah, so that's it. And basically, um, this is an i7 um, 87, I think it's an 80, 8750H um, laptop CPU. And uh, laptop CPUs are actually 35% um, less efficient than the desktop counterpart. So if you are running a desktop, um, 6 core CPU, you would have 35% 35, 35 more render efficiency when it comes to stuff like this. So probably pretty much um, like we can 14.3 will be able to do it in about 5 seconds on a desktop um, 6 core Intel CPU. And so this is just a quick showcase on the speed of like a 2015.3 on a 750,000 poly realistic human mesh. And um, Yep, that's what you can get at full HD, uh, 5 to 10 seconds per frame. Um, yeah. And pretty much it all comes down to um, color grading, um, color grading your stuff. Um, in this scene, we are using the Filmic Pass from the um, Nodal Image Filter. And uh, you'll notice that I kept the specular highlights and um, added a 7% um, reflection of blur on the skin 
and uh, if we check out my nodal folder setup we are using um, the anti-aliasing Bluma um, SMAA subpixel morphology smoothing we have tone mapping set to formic and that's that um, on this scene um, the denizer will not work because it will basically remove a lot of detail from the face in terms of the specular uh, scattering on the skin so we have I have left the denizer off um, so we can get um, all the details as much details as possible and so yeah So um, it's reset to uh, radius reset to backdrop at the moment. Um, So uh, I think this is pretty cool um, for a uh, quick um, R&D chest setup and pretty amazing speed and uh, really really good results. Um, I mean, wood light wave. And obviously, um, if you wanted to go one step further. We could obviously then turn off um, radiosity altogether and we could go with um, the default light wave ray setup and we could possibly get an even faster time like maybe one to five seconds, one to three seconds per frame uh, with a similar with a similar um, um, basic uh, with a similar type of quality output. So yeah. So one to three seconds per frame at full HD and with um, a radiosity cached backdrop um, or even Monte Carlo we would be getting um, eight seconds per frame to uh, uh, ten seconds per frame fully ray traced. Okay, so this is supposed to show um, like with twenty fifteen point B. Uh, the capabilities of um, the renderer and what you can, can actually do um, so this is why it is still um, extremely fast for rendering um, CG elements and stuff like that um, in isolation mode like this and then basically um, render out for pumping into your um, video footage so um, hope you guys um, enjoyed this quick video and uh, yep I will be uploading the um, rendered uh, full HD um, 360 um, rotoscope of this soon once I put it to render but yeah this is supposed to show you that um, you don't really need um, 
much else. Um, you don't really need um, to go all out with your subsurface scattering and stuff like that. Um, if you just have um, some good color grading and an efficient um, lighting setup, uh, you could get away with that uh, for certain um, renders. But if you really do need to have um, subsurface scattering and to go all out, then maybe I would say the best bet is for you to go with um, Octane Render but um, for now, um, for, for Lightwave just out of the box I think this is actually quite cool and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video And that was Monte Carlo cached, by the way.